When I was 16, 17, you know, the wall broke out and we went, they took us to a ghetto in Parchev. And after this, I escaped. So we, I went away and I went to the woods with my father, my mother, the whole family, we went away. And my father started to build bunkers. Finally, they came and they surrounded the whole bunker. The German was thousands, military. <clears throat> they came with helicopters, with hand grenades, you know, the whole thing. So they came and they opened up the bunkers and they started shooting, killing all of us. I was in between those dead ones. And I didn't know if I'm alive or I'm dead. So, you know, I was laying with them. And finally, I just met a friend, what he, they used to know me from home, and he recognized me. And he said, you know what, what are you doing? You know, you're just by yourself. We you want to join the partisans. So I said, well, I will be. So what do you have to do? You know, you have to take suitcase then with ammunition. I used to go destroy bridges, roads. So I was behind them, you know, to hold those, you know, bandages, iodine. The people where they had the partisans didn't want to take women. They didn't want to have children because, you know, they were strengthless like military. So he said to them, you know, if you're not going to take her, I'm not going to do because he had a lot of connection. My husband, tell me now, a lot of connection with Gentiles. You know, they gave ammunition because a lot of Jew Polish people came from the army and that was hiding the ammunition. They used to go in the back and they used to give me a hand grenade and they say if something, we have to lay out, outside from the road, far away, if you see how a uh, train used to come. So we used to throw the hand grenades. You know, the hand grenades it was very scary because if you, the, if you pull the ring, it could kill you. So we has to wait. If they catch your life, you know, they, they, they do, do it, you know, the worst thing. So I just was thinking not to get me alive. You know, but for survival, you do everything. You know, you don't think you are a human being because I had nobody already. My whole family got killed. Just my sister survived with a little girl. She was eight years old. One was choked in the, in the bunker and she survived. <clears throat> and I was wild. I didn't scare. I just was thinking, you know, what happened to my parents, and I, I didn't think I'm gonna be alive, I'm gonna survive. <laughs>